morning everyone hope you're doing well it is two minutes to six I kind of shot up this morning I'm like oh, I may as well go downstairs can't really read the clock from here but it is just watching the news made my coffee Gonna enjoy that. It's a very rainy morning. So happy New Year's Eve, everybody. This is the last day of 2020. Girl, she just jumped off the couch and decided it's you're getting used to it now. We thought if we left it here long enough, she eventually would lay in it. Good girl, Luna. Is that a nice comfortable bed? Luna, look. Is that a nice comfortable bed? morning again it is uh 8 24 pete just left for work ash is obviously long gone luna is right by my side with her head on my lap i don't know can you see it yeah there she is just edited the vlog just making the uh, i've done the thumbnail edited the vlog i'm just uploading it now to get that sorted for one drinking my second cup of lovely coffee i want to place a food order see if we can get some uh little bits and pieces in for tonight just nibbly bits um yeah just fun food fun food for tonight all right i'm uh, watching some christmas movies that i had dvr'd because if i don't watch them now once new year hits i'm like i'll delete them all and then it'll be like a waste of time um yeah once the new year hits all the christmas stuff for me is gone we'll probably be taking the tree down Saturday or Sunday, Pete's birthday is Saturday. Um, not that we're doing anything, obviously we still can't, but the beautiful glowy tree will be all gone. So I'm gonna make the most of it for the next couple of days. All right, guys, have a lovely one and we'll speak soon. Okay, it's now 1.05. Just got off the phone with mum. Um, my Costco order came, which was a small order. I just wanted to get Pete some uh, shrimp for tonight because he's going to bring fish and chips out but he's probably coming home earlier today so it's going to be a late lunch early dinner and then if we do manage to stay awake to watch the ball drop if pete's not working in the office and i'm not fast asleep i wanted him to have his shrimp and stuff for tonight um so i got some shrimp and wings which will be good picky food if not for today then definitely for tomorrow if nobody wants it today and then I got meatloaf for over the weekend because we won't be going out for Pete's birthday, obviously. And uh, what else did I get? Some turkey for sandwiches, the thick turkey. Or we could even have it with gravy and mashed potatoes. And some grapes, fancy grapes. I wanted the um, cotton candy grapes, but nobody has any in stock. So I just got regular grapes, which look delicious. So I'm going to wash them in a little bit and put some in a bowl. We didn't have my cheese tray, unfortunately. He tried to get me cheese slices instead. I'm like, no, thank you. It's not the same. One's for sandwiches, one's for crackers. Sorry, I'm so tired. Uh, what else did I get? Don't know, can't remember now. My mind's gone. I had a good chat with mum, we had a laugh. Luna is fast asleep, minding her own business, being a good girl. And I think I'm just going to lay my head back a bit. I put a Christmas movie on the TV, but it's uh, halfway through. I've probably seen it, to be honest. It's one that was released last year. But soon the Hallmark Channel will no longer be playing Christmas movies. They will go right into love stories for Valentine's Day. Last year, starting in July, they did a lot of movies in July, Christmas movies. So I have a couple of... Uh, conferences virtual conferences i've signed up for i signed up for the avon one which i believe is that the one in january i need to look there's one in january and one in february it takes me simple in avon but i have to look and see which is which because i can't remember now hmm. anyway doesn't really matter uh, i'll talk to you guys in a little bit i hope you're having a wonderful thursday hey everyone it's three o'clock wow I did nod off for about 15 minutes, so did Luna. Well, Luna slept a lot longer. Um, I just took her out and her harness popped open. 
crafty thing knew to bend her head and it slipped right up her head. And I'm thinking, we don't have fences in our back garden. I really, really wish we did. It would make life so much easier and less stressful. But uh, she just started running around the garden and I'd call her over and she'd come. But the minute you tried to grab her, she would run off. So me, my slippers and Luna got full of mud because it's all muddy and disgusting because it was about the rain. Luna, out of there. Luna! She's out to get She's fed up. Wish Pete would be home. Come home soon. He said they might be leaving between one and two. Well, obviously that didn't happen because it's now three. And I haven't heard from him. Ash gets off in an hour, but like I said, she'll be changing and leaving. She can try and take her out before she goes because I'm not doing it again. I'm not having that heart attack. Finally, she came over to me because I bribed her with a BIS. Um, <laughs> little monkey. But she came over and, then, and she did walk with me inside. I didn't bother putting the leash on at that time. I just kind of put her in front of me on the stairs and off she popped. I had to wash her legs and her feet because she's full of mud. <laughs> so stressed, I got mud over my jacket, everything. At least I remember to put a coat on. I thought, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to go charling down the street in my slippers. Got the new slippers on that Pete Nash got me. And I know they're indoor, outdoor, but I wasn't ready to get them muddy just yet. Just clean them off. Anyway, guys, that's my little fiasco. I'm gonna wait a few minutes. I put the kettle on because I didn't realize it was three already. Because Pete's gonna bring chicken and chips home from the fish and chip shop. So I'll wait and see. Oh, he's heading to the chippy now. I just got a text at 3.01. Lovely jubbly. So I'll wait on the tea because I don't want to fill myself up. I'll have a cup after. Right, guys. Yay. Early lunch. Late lunch. Early dinner, I mean. Talk to you later. Bye. So Pete's home. He just got home. It's four o'clock or a little after four. I'm having chicken. Chicken and chips. Chicken and chips. Wait till I tell everyone what you did earlier. Oh, I think I did already. Never mind. Again, so now it is 5.30. What a whirlwind of an hour and a half. Ash got home. Um, she was getting all her stuff ready, got changed. Looks very nice. She had high heeled boots on and then she goes, forget it. <laughs> I'm going to the city. I'm wearing my Uggs. So she took them off. She said they're hurting already. So they're pretty low. They have the see-through heel. Um, Pete and I ate. Unfortunately, my chicken was overcooked again so i only ate the small half piece never mind it was still nice parts of it were nice uh pete's fish was good so that was good now he's decided he's going to take luna around the block i'm like it's pitch black and it's miserable out that's fine i'll take her around so he's taken her around and that's it this will be my spot oh sydney happy new year australia hong kong Taiwan, Thailand, Shanghai. Yay. I saw Auckland this morning. I didn't realize theirs changed. They were that far ahead. Anyway, yeah, so I'm here for the night now. I'm gonna sit down here. All right, because we got Luna and Ashley's not coming home tonight. Pete said, because of Luna, Luna is in a routine going to bed with Ash. Pete said he was going to sleep in Ashley's room tonight. I'm like, don't be daft. I'll sleep down here with Luna because we tried her on our bed last time and it just doesn't work. She's too out of it and then she plays up and it's just, it ends up where we start bickering and I'm not doing that at one o'clock in the morning. So he said he's going to sleep in her bed, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I'm quite comfortable down here with the tree and then Luna can lay on her bed. She's been laying on her bed a little bit more today. So that's good. We're getting her used to that. But as long as Ash has a good time, that's all that matters. I just sold two candles. That's very nice. They won't go out till Saturday now, though. And that's it. I'm going to watch some of my English programs, put my earphones in, and just chill out for the rest of the night. Pete's very happy he's got his shrimp and wings and stuff like that if he wants them later. If he's not hungry later, we've got them for tomorrow, which is New Year's Day, and then Saturday's his birthday, so... He's got nibblies until he wants to eat them because I don't eat shrimp and Ash doesn't eat shrimp. So yeah. So anyway, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful New Year's. Um, they're saying on here, they're sick of saying 2020. So let's just go right in and say, let's hope 2021 is a lot better and there's a 
light at the end of the tunnel. Let's hope we all start seeing that light soon. Cause I need to see that light. <laughs> I'm heading towards the light. So yeah, have you, have you seen Bugs Life? Don't go towards the light, but it's so beautiful. Zap. <laughs> so there's only one light I'm heading for at the moment and that's the one at the end of this tunnel. So anyway guys, we'll check in with you a little bit later on. Um, Ash said she will send me some views of the city little video clips that I'll be able to add to this vlog, so. We can't hack New Year. We're old. I'm just catching up on the twins' birthday. Happy birthday, Liam and Lacey. Cannot believe they're 11 years old. Crazy. Snack time, because that didn't really eat a lot of the chicken, so. Having a cheese and onion sandwich and a few salt vinegar crisps and a very milky cup of tea, but that's how I like it. What are you having, Pete? Shrimp. Pete's having some shrimp. He's had a little nap, haven't you? Yeah. He's been in and out of sleep. And you've been in and out of sleep. It's the only way we could calm you down, wasn't it? You being good now? There's dogs there, Sue. She saw dogs on the TV. Saw dogs on the telly? You were watching the lions before. Most interested in the hyenas. Yeah, they like so making noise, weren't they? Yeah. You like the hyenas? She's like, Have you just put the camera on her? She looks away. Mm -hmm. Watch. Luna, go look at those. What are you doing, Luna Bell? Look. Uh, no, she's like, no, I want shrimp. Like, I'm a think, cat. I think I like shrimp. About 10 minutes left of 2020 and Luna has decided to go be by herself in the kitchen. Salty. She never goes over there, but she was smelling Ashley's jacket before. Maybe that's it. I think she misses Ash. So what do you reckon, Pete? Are you ready to leave 2020? No, I liked it. You like it? You want to stay back? Yeah. Like you're being held back in school? You want to stay back yeah. a year? Okay. I want to relive all of it. It's only because you don't want to turn 58 on Saturday. That's true. <laughs> he bought it up earlier, not me. Yeah, let's go back 40 years. Oh my God, could I? 18. Luna. Happy New Year, Luna. It's almost 2021. She's like, yeah, and... <laughs> oh, zoomed in on you. What are you going to say? I was going to say 40 years was that three, three or four day weekend binge I had. 40 years ago, I didn't know you, so is that why you want to go back 40 years? No, no, I just, really, <laughs> just remember. He's like, yes, yes, yes. 40, I realized it was you know, 40 years ago, I turned 18, and I went on a multi-day binge. Nice. Drinking. I, I kind of figured. Yeah, you know. It's not a binge of work, is it, back then? No, I didn't really, I worked a little bit, but not like that. No. Yeah. Hmm. Went out New Year's Eve and came home January 3rd. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Sure your mum was happy? Yeah. <laughs> I think there was the, the, the New Year's Eve I shut my head in the car door. Oh, my God. That explains a lot. Yeah. An awful lot. But it was all the way in by the hinges. I don't know how I did that. Well done. Mm. I think in England they would call you a cretin for doing that. That was drunk. <laughs> a drunk cretin. Do yeah. you know what a cretin is? No. Oh, so it's definitely an English word then. Okay. Okay. I'll it use it from now on. It's extremely drunk. I can imagine. You yeah. don't have to explain. You shut your head in the door and you didn't go home for three days. Yeah. I think we got the picture. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Getting ready, guys. We're on the countdown. We've got a minute left. Happy New Year! Sorry Happy you New had to Year. leave 2020. We're Bye. now 2021. Ah, oh, Jennifer.
So Luna follows me and she will not get out of the bath because someone was letting off fireworks. You can come out now. You can come out now, Luna. Come on, look. Okay guys, 20 to one. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. Let's hope 2021 has a better things in store for everybody. Um, a couple of things, Ash, you know, her hotel is in Times Square. Um, she said they had to go through three police barricades before they could get, you know, to get to the hotel, they kept getting checked and checked, which I think is great. Um, the only people that were in Times Square were the performers fam and their families and uh, first responders. So I think that's pretty cool that, you know, some of the front line got to be there and celebrate. Very different to see uh, Times Square so quiet and empty. Like by the time, usually they're just starting to, the crowds filter out, you know, and there's, I think they said there was a million there last year. Not that I would want to be in the middle of a million, not not by far. But um, so Ash is having a nice time. And then someone just started letting off fireworks. So that's what resulted with Luna being in the bath. It took two of us to get her out of there. She's like a toddler. You know when a toddler doesn't want to be picked up? They do this thing where they just feel like a dead weight. Well, that's what Luna just did. And I felt terrible because she she's petrified. She's now sitting on Pete's lap. So... Pete's going to sleep in Ash's room with her, he said. He insists. So I'm going to go to bed, I said. Last chance. Because I have offered to sleep down on the couch with Luna. And so Pete can get a decent night's sleep. And he's like, nope. Because I'm going to get her calmed down. And then I'm going to take her out. There's no point even trying to take her out right now. She is petrified. She's shaking. Because um, of the fireworks. So I said, right here then. I'm going to go up then. I feel guilty. Usually I'll sit down there with her. But he says no, because she's used to sleeping in Ashley's room on Ashley's bed. He goes, it'll be easier. And then we're both in a bed. I'm like, okay. All right, guys. I'm going to go now. Take my little bit of makeup off. Clean my teeth. Get into bed. Catch up on a few TikToks, which is what I do every night now. I've left my computer and my iPad downstairs. And I just watch a few TikToks before bed. And that's it, guys. So I'm going to love and leave you for this evening. Again, Happy New Year. I hope you've all had a wonderful, wonderful Thursday, whatever it is you did today. I hope it was a good one. And we will definitely see you tomorrow. Take care, guys, and stay safe.